Hello, welcome to the Clergy Conference 2017. I'm Neil Robinson and I'm a chaplain with the Deaf Community in Salisbury. This week we've had a great time at the conference with the speakers and presentations that have been giving us really valuable information and it's been great to have my interpreting team with me so that I've been able to access everything. We've had a lot of rich information presented and it's not only been the presentations but also activities and some leisure time as well, chatting and catching up with colleagues. What does it mean to have a Christian tradition in the context of other world religions where all of them have to be respected and given value? So my name is Martin Percy, I'm the Dean of Christ Church in Oxford and today I've been talking about the nature of the Kingdom of God and why that needs to be understood as being the key to understanding how the church should be in the modern world. I've been saying that all the church is, is a construction hut on God's building site, which is the world. David Fisher, priest in charge of Serum St Martin. The image that was used by Martin Percy of, of Grenfell Tower and Notting Hill absolutely brings that that stark reality of the need for prophecy within the land. I understood all that, accepted all that, absolutely. But what I didn't hear in what was said was that as Christians, we are called to preach Christ and Him crucified and glorified, risen and glorified, because that is the cost of our religion. My name is Veronica Hope Haley. I'm a professor, university vice president and dean at the University of Bath. Uh, I'm here at this conference uh, to talk about renewing trust and renewing hope. Ability, benevolence, integrity and predictability are very, very important drivers of trustworthiness. I think one of the other things that's really come through from the research is this um, importance of a continuity with history. Hello, my name's Jean Saddington. I'm team vicar of the Winterbournes and Compton Valance. It's interesting what Veronica was saying yes. about that walking the fine line between um, process, if you like, and, and people. Um, and it's, it's really about keeping people in mind and, and, uh, and trying to have that empathy with how they're feeling. I'm Elaine Storkey. Um, I'm here at the Salisbury Diocesan Clergy Conference. I'm normally from Cambridge. I'm an academic. Um, and really they asked me to come along and talk about the context of our ministry today. The condition of um, espousing relativism rather than looking for something that's solidly true. Um, and the way that we've moved beyond people's concepts of truth to opinion. So where you stand and where I stand and where somebody else stands is different and we see things Things differently. I'm Andres Kraulins. I'm a pastor in Latvia in one congregation next to Riga. I see a lot of similarities because uh, between the Church of England uh, and Lutheran Church of Latvia. Uh, we are together, we belong to one Christian church and we struggle sometimes with one and the same problems uh, and we have one uh, and the same joys uh, and uh, face experience. I'm Suzanne Pettel, I'm vicar at Coal Hill. It's reinforced for me the importance of the small things and that's hugely encouraging because sometimes there's a danger in an age of anxiety and uncertainty that it's all about the big projects, it's all about the big impact things and actually when it comes down to it, and this hasn't changed, it's about individual people, individual stories, individual lives and the kind of conversations we have day by day. So I'm going away thinking Actually, it matters. It matters to be in parish ministry. It matters that uh, we are modelling an incarnational presence where we are.